All right, so we finally got it in. The Anchor 3-in-1 charging cube for your Apple ecosystem. Now, I've been hawking this thing. I've been stalking this thing over on the Apple website to see when it comes back into stock, and it did. I jumped on it right then, went out to the local Apple store and picked it up, and this has replaced my bedside charger. Now, this is now my bedside charger, and I'm thinking about getting another one for my office, for my main desk, because I do enjoy it that much. Now, no, this isn't perfect, so we're gonna talk about the things I like about it, talk about little things I don't like about it, and then, talk about some things that Anchor can improve if they wanna go and keep doing it for this product. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now, let's go ahead and get it out of the way. All right, price point 150. I know that's a stinging point. That, that hurts your heart to a lot of people and I get it. But let me tell you that this comes with enough. It comes with what you need it to come with. It has the quality, build quality, and it probably is the best three-in-one compact solution that also can be used for travel if you want it to. So that's another thing why I really, really like about this. So let's go ahead and take a look at the actual cube itself. Now, the construction of it. The construction of this thing is very nice. For the 150 price point, it does not feel cheap. This thing feels like it is made out of quality materials. The hinges and everything up there is very sturdy. You don't really get a lot of wiggling around, although I would like the Apple charger to be a little bit more sturdy. It does what it needs to do and it gets out the way. Now, normally, I never weigh my accessories. I never weigh my accessories. You know, on this channel, I like to weigh my cases because those things are in your pocket, but this thing has such a premium build Let's go ahead and weigh the actual anchor charger cube, and it's going to be 410 grams. So, like I said, this thing has a little bit of weight to it, but I'm not mad because you're going to need that weight, especially when it's on your nightstand holding all of your devices. But we'll make sure we come back to it. So, let's go ahead and take a look around it. So, on the front side of the actual cube, well, that's not the front side. This is the front side. So, on the front side of the cube, you're going to get your anchor branding, which you, you can feel it kind of etched in there. And right here, you're going to get the hinge, all right? This is a nice, sturdy hinge nothing flimsy this thing doesn't move very sturdy hinge that does not feel like it's going to get weak over time and if i'm paying 150 for my charging solution i'm gonna need that hinge to feel the exact way this does and this feels a great feels great so anchor good job when it comes to this hinge now flipping over here on the side here is where you're going to have your apple watch charger now you can kind of get it out of the way so say for an example you like this little charger cube but you don't have an apple watch you can kind of press it and this is what opens it up and this what it you can see your apple watch charger or if you don't want to use it you just press it pop it in and it's out the way that is the most clean iteration of a three-in-one charger that i have seen so far on the market and i did a video talking about my best three-in-ones and this right here is easily the most slick and compact one of them all so i love the way they did the apple watch charger if there if you need it but if you don't need it and for me example i don't charge my apple watch ultra every day so therefore i don't need this every day so, so a lot of times i'm using it just like this because of the battery life on the apple watch ultra i'm charging mine every other day every two days i don't really need that now flipping it over on the back now this is something that i don't understand and anchor i hope you're looking at it y'all don't know who i am but just listen to me if you just see it browsing across your youtubes I don't get why you put the LED light on the back. Now, a lot of times, well, not for this, because it comes with a power brick. It comes with a USB-C cable. I kind of get into details about those a little bit later. But when I'm plugged up, I want to make sure that I'm plugged up. This LED light should be on the front. I'm not understanding why you would put it on the back. So that's a little confusing to me. If you know why, y'all let me know in the comment section down below. And as you see, it does include your type c now when i'm talking about including your type c in the packaging you do get a 30 watt anchor power brick which that's very good to see because you are paying 150 and you also get a five foot if i'm not mistaken type c to type c cable now i think i left mine in the bedroom next to the bedside where mine's plugged up but you already know anchor makes some of the best type c cables out there so it's included all in the packaging that was very good to see because a lot of these you pay a high price and they don't even give you a brick or they don't give you a cord and you have to go out there and spend 30 25 more extra dollars in order to even use the device so that's what i find pretty clutch and on the bottom side of it this whole bottom is going to be a rubber material so it's not going to be able to slide as easy if it's on your desk it's going to kind of stay input now let me go ahead and grab my type c cable now i have my type c cable over here ran but it didn't fail down so now i gotta get up and grab the type c cable it's, i'll be right back all right so i got my cable right here and just like i stated let's go ahead and plug it in so you can see that little led that little light right there so when you plug it in it lets you know that it has power now say for an example i'm somewhere i plug this in i could be using this as a travel charger 
and I pop this in, I don't know if this thing is, is charging or not. I'm not gonna look back here because when this is on my desk, guess what? The wall is right here, so I'm not even gonna see that LED light. Move that to the front. It will be a much better use case, but that's just penny candy. It is what it is. So let's go ahead and talk about the power that this thing outputs. And one thing that I forgot about was on the back side right here, you're gonna get that pad to where you can place your AirPods, all right? So that's your three in one. You got your Apple Watch, you got your AirPod pad, and you have your Apple Watch pad, all very nice and compact. Now, when we're talking about power, you're not going to get any super fast speeds. Now, I know a lot of you like to come in here and say, T, how fast is the speed? How, how fast does it charge? Look, this thing, we are talking about 15 watts MagSafe, all right? We're talking about basic MagSafe when it comes to Apple, so 15 watts when it comes to your iPhone, 5 watts for your watch, 5 watts for your AirPods. And we all know in the grand scheme of things of charging numbers out there, those numbers are bare bones. So yes, it's gonna charge very slow. If you use MagSafe charging on the regular when it comes to Apple chargers, just think that's how fast it's gonna charge. So don't think you're gonna slap this on here, take a shower and do what you need to do, pick your phone up and then you're good to go you're not going to be up that much percentage, all right? This thing is used for overnight applications, in my opinion. So you're not be. this isn't made for super fast chargers. So when it comes to charger speeds, I didn't test it because they're just like any normal Apple MagSafe charger speeds. It's not going to be the fastest. It's going to be pretty slow. So take that as it is. So let's go ahead and put our products up here so you can see how it works. Now, one thing that I don't really like about it, getting to my first dislike is how crimped it is. Yes, it's the 3-in-1 charger solution. And yes, I get Anchor was trying to find something that is the most compact. But especially when you have something like the 14 Pro Max, the Apple Watch Ultra, when you have the bigger side of Apple products, things can get a little bit crimped up here. So first things first, let's go ahead and start off with our AirPods. Now, yes, I do have an AirPods case up here, so it does work through it. So let's go ahead and, and as you see, you can hear the AirPods just fine. So we got our AirPod Pros charged. Now, I know a lot of you are going to ask, T, can I charge my AirPod Pros on the Apple Watch charger? You can. All right, you can pop it up here. Now this case right here doesn't support it, but I know if you have a case that has the, the magnets kind of aligned the right way, you can pop it on. And let's see if I can kind of jimmy rig it. There it is. So I can take the bottom off and I can pop this on and it works just fine. So if you don't use a case on your AirPods, then you're good. But if you use a case, some cases are gonna be a little funny when it comes to that magnetic alignment. So that's where it is. So popping it back on the AirPod case right here, that works fine. Let me go ahead and grab my Apple Watch Ultra right here. And let me go ahead and pop this down. So that's down on the thing. And let's go ahead and see that charge. So that's gonna be charging right there. And then we grab the big boy, the 14 Pro Max. And then we pop it right here and you are good to go. So as you can see, everything right here is being charged. All right, let me clear my notifications away, but everything is being charged up here at the same time. And this is what I mean why I say it gets a little crimped. All right, now, if you're a person and you don't care, this is works perfectly perfect for you, then you're perfectly fine. But like I said, with a 14 Pro Max with a case, you're talking about it almost even dragging the table that you have it on. It's, round, it's down here really low. Apple Watch Ultra, yes, it's here right here, but you kind of got to make sure it's up there. And the magnet is very strong up there. And then you have to kind of reach back here to put your AirPods down. But good thing about it is everything has like a sound, especially when it comes to your AirPods. Cause that's the main thing that I worry about when putting my AirPods back there. Is it on the pad good? But trust me, you put it back there, that pad is going to charge and you're not going to have anything to worry about. So that's kind of like my only con about this thing is, well, one of them, I have another one coming up, which is very small, but it's just, it's so compact, it makes it a little harder when you have the bigger Apple devices. So leave it at that. Now, when, you, when you're talking about taking your devices off of it, how does it do? Does it weigh it down? Is it heavy enough to support just taking your devices off? So say for an example, I'm popping my Apple Watch Ultra off, all right, nothing moved at all. We can just slide our AirPods off, nothing moves at all. Now I can't just, I can kind of snatch that off, but it is gonna move it around a little bit, all right? Like, it, well, it's kind of staying still. So it has enough weight to where you can kind of take it off and you feel like the whole thing isn't moving, but it kind of changes up. I feel like if you put it face down, well, no, you're pretty much good there as well. So I guess it really, see, there it is. It really depends on how strong your magnet is on your case to where some of these cases, you can probably pick it up and just go about it, or some you're gonna have to kind of hold it down a little bit and pull it up because it will pick this whole thing up. I'm rocking the Andar Aspen and it just picks this whole base up because it has a strong MagSafe in the case. So it really depends on how strong your magnet is on your case, whether this thing can hold it down or not. So in the grand scheme of things, that's gonna be the Anchor Cube. I love it. 
It's so small, it's so compact. It, yes, it gets a little tight, but this thing has a dual purpose. You can use this on the bedside, in your office, on your desk, in your living room, you can use it, but guess what? It's small enough to where you can throw this in a bag, you can throw this in a bag, and you may already have a Type-C cable because if you're traveling, and you can, all, and you can really travel with this if that's something that you want to do also. So in my opinion, I feel like if you want to travel with it, they made it small enough to where you can travel with it and there won't be any issues. But if you want to use it as a home desk application, you can do that as well. So bravo to Anchor. I feel like this easily can be in my best three in one chargers because of it being so small, of it being so compact and the way that it's just made out of very nice materials. Yes, it has a very nice hefty $150 price tag, but when you really got to look at the other three in ones where you kind of have to wind the Apple Watch cable through and you kind of got to do funny little weird things or they have big proprietary chargers that come along with them, this one is just straight type C. They give you everything that's included, all nice in one solution when we are talking about charging all your Apple ecosystems up. But if you're a travel person and you like to go out and about and you need something that's just a little bit more, I wouldn't say compact, but a different option when it comes to a travel charger, Check that video out there. Mophie makes a dope travel three-in-one charger.